this. <laughs> oh, wow. Now come with me to my control centre. This is what I'm going to be seeing, these three monitors. So right here, we've got real live feed of Jason. And then here, I've got the game, which obviously he's going to completely influence. After the camera had detected my body's outline, I was free to pick up my wireless gun and begin the mission. Here we go. As I took my first steps on the treadmill, the sensation of physically navigating myself through the level was mind-blowing. <laughs> it felt like I was actually in the game. That is insanely realistic. This is so good. But then the enemy spotted me. Suddenly I was thrust into conflict, triggering the paintball guns to fire. Oh, right past my ear. Ow! Oh, he's been shot. Jesus, this is so scary. But as I spun round to retaliate, I noticed a problem. I just can't get it to go down. What's going on? The tracking on my gun was out and wasn't aiming where I wanted, leaving me a sitting duck. Ah, oh, you Ow! Ow! I had no option but Ow! to pull Jason out of the firing line. Ow! Stop! 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 stop. <sighs> on re-entry to the dome, I discovered Susie was spot on. Look at that, I can scan my environment really easily now, look, as I'm getting used to it. Good. I was now ready to kick some serious virtual ass. Oh, someone out! Now he's cooking on gas. Thanks to the 180-degree HD image, the Tannoy surround sound speakers, and our ambient LED lighting, Jason was completely immersed. It's completely real! So phenomenal was the realism that I actually began talking to my virtual comrades. All right, buddy. All right, let's do it. And I even put out a hand to drag a wounded soldier. It's instinctively pulling my arm out. It's bizarre. As Jason progressed through the level, the freedom of movement offered by the omnidirectional treadmill was extraordinary. This is incredible. Going up these stairs is absolutely amazing it's amazing and it's also it's it genius nearing the end of the level i was now soaked with sweat and my heart was racing oh my god this is so scary this is so scary i genuinely felt like the enemy was stalking me and the fear induced by the automatic paintball guns was palpable both mentally and physically he's genuinely scared in there He's terrified. But thanks to one last concerted offensive move, I completed the level. Badly bruised, but over the moon. <laughs> Damn, this is awesome! Awesome! Must be kept secret, we'd agreed not to show his face. Obviously, in the military, we use a lot of simulations um, to do a lot of certainly close quarter combat using live ammunition. So, so we have got live ammo in there. There you go. You I know you got shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, if you get caught in the knackers, you're in trouble. So put your helmet on. Yeah, 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 and, absolutely. Uh, do, do your worst. Once inside, Andy completed the calibration. Then he began his virtual mission. What you're getting on the simulator is exactly the same as, as, as in, a, in a real thing. You're getting the confusion, the darkness, but, like, ultimately tough because what you've got to do is make sure that you get used to how the weapon plays. That's why they're called personal weapons. He's navigating those corridors very well. It's really quick. You see that through, straight through there. Yeah. But now he was about to experience enemy fire for the first time. Boogie's left at 10 o'clock, Andy! Bang, guys, here! Without hesitation, the gun turrets unleashed fury from all angles. It's been shot, it's been shot. You But he just took it in his stride. Oh, RPG in the face! But because it's Andy, man, glancing blow. And interestingly, like a true soldier, he never left a scene before meticulously scouring to check every inch was clear. Maybe that's because, because he it's thinks real. it's real. Exactly. Maybe he does Look think it's real. He won't leave this area until mentally he knows that his boys are all right. And as the level progressed, it was fascinating to watch Andy employ more of these tactics honed in real life. This is interesting. Oh, yeah. Watch how fluid the movement is. Look, straight in. No messing about. Watch him there. Sh checks his six. Do you see yeah, that? Look. Yeah. So now it looks like we've got a sniper coming up. So what you're trying to do is get three different angles, three different heights, so you've got at least one in three chance of hitting him. 
if you can find him. And he was now seemingly lost in the game, fully immersed in our visceral gaming experience. Andy with an RPG, that is not a sight you want to see. Come on, Andy, give him some. Yeah, well done, Andy. Freak hero. Susie and I were overwhelmed with pride, but we were nervous to hear Andy's final verdict. How are you doing? <laughs> Naggered. <laughs> The fact is, you don't want to let the T down. Um, you've got that confusion. And what it does with that, that sort of 360 screen gives you the confusion. And getting shot. That's really important for these sort of things because you don't think you're Superman. You yeah. know that within you're that environment, invincible. you're going to get, you're going to get zapped. You've got the same emotions, but on the similar. Excellent. Fantastic. Andy McNabb, thank you so pleasure. much. No, thank you. Absolutely. Thank pleasure. you very much.